I am at the European School of Hematology meeting in Berlin on how to treat and diagnose multiple myeloma. I just finished presenting data on what we define as high-risk multiple myeloma. So we've used a couple of different techniques to really identify these patients. One that's pretty easily implementable almost around the world is to identify a group of patients who've lost both copies of a gene called P53 or TP53. So classically we do fish for these patients to identify deletions on chromosome 17. However, that identifies about 10% of patients and it's ones that have lost both copies either by deletions or mutations or combinations that really do very, very poorly. And those that only have one copy lost don't do very poorly. So that identifies about three or 4% of patients that do very, very poorly that we can add into clinical trials today. The other thing that we've been focused on was using gene expression profiling where we look at all the genes in the genome and how expressed they are in the tumor. And that allows us to identify a group of patients that are really phenotypically look identical, that do very poorly. It's about 7% of all patients. The other group of patients that we can identify is through similar measures, a group of patients who don't all group together, but they have a signature that associates with a very poor outcome. That's about 13% of patients that we can now identify and say, you're a high risk patient, we're gonna try and put you in a different therapy group. And what's important there is they have such a different biology that if we give them therapies that work for the average myeloma, they clearly don't work. But what we suspect is more dangerous is therapies that'll work in that small subset, 13%, probably don't work in the average myeloma. So if we gave that therapy to everybody, it's probably not gonna be an informative clinical trial, which is why it's really important to actually target clinical trials to that subset of patients specifically, because they're not gonna do well today with the current therapies, and things that'll work for them may not work for everybody, so we really have to look at that subset uniquely.